Hey, good morning, everyone. It's 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show, and I am Greg Master Scrum Master and Agile Coach and Coach. And there's a little warning popped up my screen that I just went live. So that's pretty cool. Hey, so I was out walking the dogs around 5 o'clock this morning, 5.30. I had a long walk this morning. I got a good one. So it was beautiful outside. So got a great picture of sunset. Just posted up a TikTok talking about it's time to play ball. It's early in the morning, time to get up early before everybody else does. But what I want to talk about today is this falsehood of assigning people to work. And I work in so many organizations like, well, we're going to start out sprint. We're going to assign everybody work to do. I'm like, well, yeah, okay, fine. But it's not the best way of doing it. It's actually kind of like a, a slower way of working. It's kind of like the other day. So I got this, this Tupperware thing that's here. Apparently, my son wants to make me snacks, healthy snacks, healthy snacks <laughs> every day. Um, and so he's been doing it. I don't know how long it last for, but he's doing it on his own. He's making himself. I'm not telling him what to put in it. He's just figuring out what he wants to put in it and take care of that. So that's the same thing, signing work. Is this something they really want to do, or are you just assigning the work? The word assign in Jira, by the way, is just, it's just the word it is. So you just go with it. It's not what how they do it. So um, anyway, that's what we're going to talk about today. And I am Greg Master, Scrum Master and Agile Coach. And this show, we talk about Scrum and Agile in a practical and tactical way. So you can bring value to the customer. Get work done in a way that you're not working crazy hours to get there. Have fun at the office. Get home to family and friends. You can have more fun. And that's why we do this show. And what dawned to me is, is that watching people use your Jira and they look at me, oh, let's check this part. I go, yeah. Um, you really want to make sure the work gets done and not just by person. People may get assigned the work and something. Everybody wants to know how they're doing. They just, it's natural. Um. But what happens, people get, um, what do you want to put the, the, the blinders on so they can only see forward when all they do is look, look at the work that's assigned. And the idea of Scrum, the way it's built, is to get people to stop just looking at what work is assigned to them, but look at the work as a whole, as a team. And people don't get that. Scrum masters don't get that. They're not teaching the people that you're supposed to work, look at the work as a team, not as a bunch of individuals. Something the other day, got to the end of the sprint. One of the developers didn't know there was work out there because it wasn't assigned to him. Theoretically, completed all the work. And my question really is, did you really complete the work? Maybe. He said he did a code review. He did it up in Bitbucket or something. So I'm like, okay, we'll go, we'll go with it. Um, but... He didn't know there was actually a subtask that the team had created for doing a code review for that job. And because it wasn't assigned to him, he didn't see it. So what people are building is this blinder spot, not to work as a team, but to work as a bunch of individuals. And by starting off the sprint with work assigned to everybody, you eliminate that need or desire to interact with other people in the team in order to consult with them on complex issues. Like, I'm just going to solve it myself and make it done. What I see is that adds about 10 to 20% time to get work done because people as individuals think they have to solve the problem themselves and they're not doing enough to check with their teammates on possible solutions. They're all capable of coding it. Hands down, hands down. Everyone on the team is capable of coming up with solutions. Sometimes on these complex problems, though, it's better to come back together and say, hey, I'm going to take on this work. Does anybody want to help me look at it, look at my thoughts, my design, how I think I'm going to go and, and accomplish this before I go working on it to get the best, most rapid solution that the team could work on? See where I'm going out here? I don't know. Maybe I don't. But, uh, but that is the purpose behind Scrum is to get people together to talk about solutions and get the best, most rapid possible solution is because you're getting more eyes on it 
more input from different people who all have the same capability. You know, they all can code whatever language they're doing, and maybe they have a couple different other avenues they bring to the table. And that's the heart of Scrum. When I go to teams where they are just talking about, okay, who's going to take this job? Who's going to take this job? No. One, you can miss those little pieces of work that were, were not assigned people because they just didn't get there because it's not assigned to them, so they have the blinders on. But two, it's their one-point solution. It may not be the best solution, but by working as a team, you get that better solution. This is what tech leads are supposed to do. So the old way, the answer was a tech lead with their one point solution because they're so experienced would provide the best solution and tell the developers or the team how to solve the problem. The better solution and actually more robust solution is the scrum solution where people come together, talk about how the, the different options to solve the problem and then somebody goes off and starts solving it. And they have problems. They come back to the crew and they say, hey, I got, I'm stuck here. I got this far. What do you think? Here's what I laid out. What do you think? And get some feedback on that. Are they on the right track? And you think it's a, a good, robust solution to the problem. That's what Scrum's about. It's not about people taking work or assigning work to people and them just working. It's about getting people to work together to come up with a better solution. That is what Scrum is about. I went a little deep on that one, but we're here to bring value to the customer and get it done in a, in a quicker fashion. It's quicker to talk to the teammates on what they think might be a good solution for that particular problem. Because then you get a lot of ideas, a lot of ways of looking at it. Then you can solve it rapidly and you have the best solution, maybe the most fastest solution, because maybe one of your buddies or girl pals or somebody said, hey, by the way, did you know there's a new module over here? There's a call routine or an API that will give you that data and you don't have to figure that out. Or if you want, I'll create a database. I'll put a view up. You can pull from the view and be done with it. Oh, that would be a lot easier than my front end work that I was going to do and spend two days trying to figure out how to code it. That's what Scrum is about. And since I got up early, I got to think about all this stuff, and that's where you guys get this. So with that, this was our 607th episode. I am Greg Master, Scrum Master, and as a coach, and I want to wish you a, a great day, a happy day, a happy scrumming day. Please give us a like if you like the show. And ring the bell to get little notices like we did when that we started the show. And um, wish you all the best. And I hope you get to work with your team. And it's okay to assign work. It's not a, it's not an anti thing because people go grab the work and put their name on it. Perfectly fine. As long as it doesn't get everybody into this. It's my work and I don't talk to anybody because I'm the only one who can come up with a solution. Because if I ask any questions, I'll look like an idiot. As long as it doesn't go down that rat hole, you're good. So with that, have a great day. It is Wednesdays, halfway through the week, and uh, see you tomorrow. Well, we'll get the end button. Bye.